Oh my god. Do you feel that? Do you hear that? I forgot to buy it. Whoops. Go buy it. <laughs> Stupid Beowulf air height costs 20k. What a rip. But at least it's got a cool white sigil. Huh? Ah, uh, it's nice. More importantly, the DT version looks rad. Oh yeah? Look at that shit. Well, this is the DT looks rad. More like it. Oh boy. Oh, that was a good fight with Virgil, I'll tell you what. I wonder if that adjudicator is still there after I busted it up last time. Uh it is. How wonderful. This is 14, right? Yeah, we're on mission 14. Okay. What up? You looking up leet leet tricks? Just keeping track. Just keeping track. Oh no, my st Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, did we not save after last time? Guess we didn't. Well, hmm. Huh. What up? Which means this? So the yeah, which means. Which means what, Wooly? Oh, I guess you. I hmm. I thought we finished fourteen. Nah, man, we just started up to show off Beowulf and picked. You started up. You picked up Beowulf. Yeah, and then, then we went, whoa, 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 whoa. Right. Okay, that, I'm like, that's why I'm so thrown off, because I'm like, I could have sworn... Because you have Beowulf, which means you played Mission 14. That is what it means. Which means we should be done. And I was like, no, because we stopped in the middle of it. No. Which we usually don't do. And I was super confused, but now... Don't worry, buddy. Now I've got... So, we're having a situation here with the, the tower, in which the brand... The, so, apparently, there was a, a smaller tower inside the big tower. It's like a dick, kind of. And there's the nice, smooth part that looks like Virgil. The mini Negro? Mmm. Yeah. And then the big, bony part that looks like, uh, rocks. And they're now jutting through each other, and it's gross. Is that the same secret mission I did earlier? Yeah, it was. Got your tiny Negro. Mm -hmm. Inside your mini Negro. Inside your Temen Negro. What about your micro? Uh, no, that doesn't work. It doesn't? No. Oh, these guys are so fucking Yeah, lame. Dullahans. They're cool. So I love the Dullahan. Like, mm -hmm. in, in shit. Because Dullahans are radical. But these guys are just losers. Well, they're precursors to... I mean, the, well, not precursors, but... They, they are similarly precursors to your, um, your knights in 4. That you have to snatch around. Mm -hmm. And, uh... The fact that they have anti-airs is great! Yeah. Because they stop your fucking helm splitters. They have very limited move sets, which is probably which I don't like enemies that have weird conditions on them in which you have to attack them from certain directions or in certain ways. I completely disagree. Really? Be yes, because So you like the blue and uh blue and red enemies no, in the not DMC? No, that's weapon limitation. Okay. You you like positional limitation? Positional limitation is great, right? Because the idea it's like okay, bam, big shield guy, right? He's facing it, he's turning around, right? And you're like, okay, well, what do you gotta do? Well, obviously get behind him and you go to jump over him and it's like, fuck you, anti air right? Yeah. And, um... This is one of those boss, uh, this is one of those enemy types that is, like, explicitly designed to be fought with Trickster instead of... That's it. ...everything that I have. So, air, so, so you air trick and then you're like, oh, fuck, because well, you just, anyway, you, you realize... right behind him. And, and then that works out. Uh, alternatively, um... Uh, uh... You can you can actually that that's the that's the funny thing is you can brute force and uh, uh, a helm splitter over it sometimes, but there's a I, I remember there's a um, one floor that happens in uh, what's it called in uh, Bloody Palace. Is this not where it came from? There, there's a floor in Bloody Palace that you can get sometimes where there's a bunch of them, and they are all just surrounding you. Oh, that's. And awful. you're like, if you jump, you just get. <laughs> Like just penetrated on all sides. I don't like that. I don't like <laughs> and, that. And it's a good time. And it's I don't like that even one little bit. So like, I I actually like the Dulla hands. I think it's like I think it's a, it's a nice little mix up. Uh, I don't know. I don't like. I, I if know. if they were in fights with. Wow, I'm getting super the, lost. The, if they were in fights with other enemies more often, I would be more inclined to agree with you. But too often, they're the only enemies in the room, and I find that well. The idea, interesting. the idea that I like about them is carried over into four with the um, the uh, Angela, the knights, right? Yeah, yeah. because the uh, basically the effective thing of like I've got a shield and you've got to work around it is a a nice little fun. Oh yeah, we're aspect. doing this now. I'm super excited. 
the part of the tower that just completely rips me out of it. Because oh, don't worry about it. Why would this type of tech exist in the time frame that this tower was built in? Demons. It's like, I guess just demon architecture is so advanced. But then they prefer to make it old school and, like, specifically Dark Ages. And, and perhaps even beyond. I don't know. In any case, you got Beowulf fucking rock some Beowulf shit. I fucking shit. love Beowulf. Rock some Beowulf shit. Do it. Beowulf is so... Oh, it's the best. That move yeah, the is hammer. so good. The hammer. It's near instantaneous. It's so instantaneous, and it does, like, the damage of, like, five um, aerial rave slashes. So, so one of my big favorites is this. Yep. And then you finish off with Killer B if the guy's still alive. Um, the hammer in Marvel is completely invincible. Really? Yes. That's weird! Completely. <laughs> now, I don't- I, I- I'm not sure, I don't think that applies in this game. But, you cannot be touched while it starts and is active. You just have to catch him on I'm the I'm in a maze. I believe they eventually nerfed it. I would hope so, because that seems absurd. Nope. These guys are starting to get the music, which is one of my favorite tracks in the game, which is the original trailer music. Mm -hmm. And um, some oh. of those, and so some of the the, the move set as well that you're seeing on Beowulf is also like it's pretty much what Whoa. They, they, it's pretty much the the basic set that they give Trish. Yeah. Right. So. Particularly the, um... By the way, if you guys see just enemies just explode sometimes, that's, that's DT Explosion. The, uh, yeah, it's the, 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 the power fucking geyser dunk that you get, like, Trish gets the ultimate version of that. It's fucking great. So, fun fact, it appears that the top version is actually the max power version, no matter what. Ooh. Whoa. Come on, chess pieces. Oh my god, it's a knight! And notice, just like the others, the eyes turn red as an indicator of oh when to fucking stop. Stop. So I actually like these chess piece designs quite a bit. Yeah. I think that they're I think that they're fucking lame, but their attacks are actually really interesting, and then it leads somewhere legitimately great eventually. It would, it would be super cool to see a full chessboard. It would be pieces. super cool of that. That would be a nice idea. That's what Pat thinks as well. Hey, look, I defeated this hilariously simple maze. I don't know if I would even call it a maze. Because it's literally just run into these rooms and fight these chess pieces. But did you learn how to fight them? Oh. No. I clearly because didn't. There's your caster type, and his orb I, turns red instead of the eyes. I fucking love him, because I was fucking around earlier, like, right before he came in, and, like, I forgot that he heals the other ones if, yes. you, if you don't take him back. They first. run away. They run away, and they and they heal the rest of the pieces. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh... You know, it's a little, it's a little thing you need to learn about that kind of guy. You know. Open up these fucking doors, I want to get out of this goddamn maze. I'm so lost. I wonder if the map would help me. That's not helpful. Actually, it kind of is, but I don't have a position, so fuck it. Oh, you know what I didn't realize? Oh, yeah, the fucking little circles on the floor is places I haven't been. I guess? No, but this- oh, fuck. The map is is better than nothing, but it, it, it could be improved. It is a remnant of an earlier time. There you go. Yeah, look at that shit. <laughs> Fuck off. See, but you know what's actually bizarrely effective? It's just short jumping into the hammer. Mm -hmm. It is. But charging that full uh, Rise of Dragon means you get popped. But all, Nearly every time. But it, all, it also means you, uh, you lose your style meter. So the trick with that, I've found, is that you're basically... You have to hit more than one guy at a time. With a lot of those. And also... Um, 
know? If only if there was a way... To do it faster and with even more damage. Or to have something else hitting the characters while you're charging that uppercut. Oh, if only. Well, and then and I then fucked I it up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, so that, so that idea of um, round trip... Uh, into... Yeah, that's into, round trip, and so in this game it's sword throw. Sword throw, sword throw. Yeah, but, but like... Ultimately, <laughs> round tripping while it's out, hurting them, and then you charge that shit up to keep your style meter going. That's what they built Trish around, and... and uh, I just hit the wrong button to go in because I was drinking my Red Bulls. It was delicious. You know, those... Those statues, those goddess statues... Yeah. The lion head's pretty weird on them. It sure fucking is. Huh, okay. For some reason, I thought I was supposed to go forward here. But I suppose not. In fact, I probably have to go, yeah, towards the camera. Always everyone's favorite location to walk towards. Fuck y'all! Wish you could, like, hit those back. Like, you can you can nullify them with a bunch of different techniques, but I wish but you yeah. could specifically just be like, fuck you. Bat bat, bat bat. You know? What the? Why would- What the? Um... Oh look, there's another Justify. Yeah, having, uh... Gotten- like, having recently, uh, having done the, the LKD, like, run, I'm- I'm just thinking about, like, how a lot of these things got- how a lot of these things evolved. And, um... Whoops. I thought that was a Justify, but it's not. It's a quick strip club run. Yeah. Remember the demons? They need their fucking guru massage. They need a portal to their massage. They get tense backs. The um, only one thing's gonna fix that back. Huh? I have actual multiple paths. This is unbelievable. Well, back to love. What, what was it called? Love hotel. Love massage. Love palace. I feel like Japanese names for strip clubs and such are always just like. Lame. They're also completely misnomers because there's Love Planet, excuse me, has nothing to do with love. It's nothing. <laughs> like all of love hotels have nothing to do with love. All of these places are the exact opposite, almost. What are you talking about? How could it have nothing to do with love? We're literally back to the beginning of the video game. Yeah, I'm like. Is this, uh, I can't remember if this is, like, 100% optional because, like, the normal path has been, like, sealed off or some such. I honestly can't remember. But yeah, let's go on back to Devil May Cry. Why the fuck not? Who's gonna stop me? The regular jobber fuck enemies are here as well. Yeah. This is... Oh, okay, okay, no, this, this is actually, like, the progression path. What? Really? Yeah, yeah, going back is going forward. Here? I, I, I don't... I did not remember this, but yeah, uh, it was, yeah. Um, backtrack to the Bullseye Bar Room, for, get some orbs, then go to 13th Avenue, and, uh, head on up to the tower. Huh. Oh, I get it, because you gotta go through the front, I suppose. To get back in the main hall. Yeah, because yeah, look at the, this. This is definitely not what it was. No, no, certainly not. And, and, and all the jumping around fuckboys are coming to party. But Stop it. Stop being a bunch of fuckboys. I guess at a certain point, like, when you're way deep in the, in the tower, it's like... But, like but they er, er, get out of the tower, don't go back. Well, because like early on, it's like okay, here's a crazy elevator in some bullshit corner that'll bring you back to the lobby. Oh, I remember what the crazy elevator is. Right. And then uh, I just wanted to get yeah, here. It's, it's optional. You get some extras. And look, the fact that they're now putting advanced enemies in here means uh, they know you're you're allowed to have fun. Oh, fuck off! Did you see that, like, like MS Paint comic thing of, like, just Virgil being like, No, Dante, this is not a crazy party. This is I am trying to kill you with my samurai sword! <laughs> we are fighting for our father's legacy. 
<laughs> How did Dot? No. no, not Wahoo. <laughs> I fucking love that version. Oh shit, that's great. <laughs> yeah, oh man, just Virgil getting salty at the fun. <laughs> Stop it! Like foolishness, Dante. Yeah, yeah. Virgil sitting in the audience watching him like shred Nevin around. And we're all we're all making fun of Dante at that point. Oh. Oh. Not enough to get double. But now. Yeah. Ooh. You're back again, huh? Yeah. Oh. oh, I got one. Oh, the double bell. It's it's. Did you uh, did you crank up the volume a little bit? Uh, no. Okay. Because I feel like I can hear it a little a bit better. Oh, yeah, maybe. Sure. Oh, you just <laughs> fucking popped it. Jesus <laughs> Christ! It's a lot of damage. Holy fuck! That's uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was an. It's a eight, lot of damage. That was an eight pip DT. It's about as strong as it gets. And we unfortunately can't get back into the bar. Well, oh, no. well, well your, your, your fucking your office is shit. Oh no, not my shit office. Okay, we're gonna ignore you guys. I just wanted to explore. I just wanted to, to explore. Uh, uh, up to the tower road. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. There is one room I'd like to check beforehand, because I don't remember why it even bothers to exist. And it is. Man, I miss Sprint. Holy oh, shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you you gotta buy it too. Yeah, well, but, not in five, you don't. But fuck, is that useful? It's this room. It, oh, like, why does this exist? You know? Hey. Oh. Okay. Right. There you go. Looks like a style room to me. Sure does. <laughs> <laughs> What the my favorite part is that I'm flying backwards after getting shit on my oh that's what oh what but and I let it go and like yeah amazing sick style Dante you're so cool you're so cool you can hit smoking sick when you're being getting hit. getting knocked out of your shit that's amazing that's the ultimate you fucked up no I didn't. <laughs> Spend all your resources. Nah, -uh. nah. -uh. I'm still stylish, y'all. Yeah, it's like after four. Even after, I played one and three now, right? Mm -hmm. After four being played ever, your long distance movement feels laughably slow. You know what's even better than sprint? What's that? Um, Super Dante popping it and running around like that all huh. day. Yeah, Super Dante is for funsies only. However, of course. But if you just want to, like, actually move as quickly as possible. Oh! How convenient! I like when, as you go through a game, characters start to use the items and abilities that you've actually acquired. Yeah. He took more care saving that than he did of Lady. Yes. It's a beautiful motorcycle. So... I shit you not, when I was watching the DMC5 footage with Dante using Cavalier, which is his motorcycle weapon, some of these moves are, are in, in the it. move set. As they would. You see that comparison of the, sh the shrouded figure with the marked, with the covered face yes. and the top lip? Yes. Resembling Olivia? Olivia? <laughs> Who? Um... Not Olivia. What am I saying? Uh, uh, um, um, um. DMC2 girl. What's her name? Lucia. 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 Dude, that would be the craziest thing ever. That would be the best. That would be such a cool way to Just save it. Fix that. Fix it. Um. Yeah, here we go. This is. This is. This is peak. Peak fucking ridiculous Dante. He's you like, blew up Lady's motorcycle. 
Why would you have done that? But he's like, that was kind of fun, though. I should probably think about that in the future. That gives me an idea. <laughs> Are you ready to fight the worst enemy in the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Motorcycle hype? I have no idea why they put this fucking enemy in! It's so bad! Motorcycle hype brings you high? I like- I love but ladies' first. solution. But first. Fuck it, I'm gonna use my grapple hook. What would happen if she got to the point where she was like out of rope, but had no safe place to like, stand? Then I guess she would die. But she's so angry. That it makes it makes it a way for her, even when there is no way. Her anger keeps her alive. I did not catch the fucking number on that one. Did you press the button? No, I did not. Hmm. I honestly didn't. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go to the status screen and. Yeah. Maybe. Apparently, there's a tree that looks like a 15. Supposedly, I got 30k. That's great. This fucking enemy, I swear to god. I, I do love the the asset reuse in this game because it's just like the entire fucking tower is being torn apart. Oh my god, it's like an angel. <laughs> I wanna say this is also early cues for for like bayonetta ideas. Because of how like how clear this so Mundus was the first one, right? And then this is your second, like... This demon is actually an angel. Or is it? Oh, wait, what's that underneath the wings? Oh, it's a demon! It's just a demon. So but why is it so pretty? It's because it's concealing its demonic nature. These are the worst. They have no collision. They have... Like, they can just clip through everything. They I, I, have this fucking gimmick where... They're invincible. You have to jump into the air to hit them. Um, honestly, I I think the the clouds of gas are more annoying. Yeah, they're not as bad. Cause the like I, like again, you just have to run into the cloud of gas and hope it becomes physical. Or if the like I, I don't again, we don't remember how to make them. Not I gas. remember now because someone told me. Well, what is it? They're boosts. You have to not look at them. You have to not look at them in the oh. slash. So okay. like, and All they right. float away when you go near them, and it's just awful. It's just awful. Hey. And the best way I've found to ever hit them is just literally jump and hammer them. Maybe that's what spirals for. <laughs> <laughs> spirals for the trash. Hey, you know what I was happy to see though? What's that? So the, the backlash we got on spiral. Uh, from I was- a, from what? From folks saying, actually, it's one of the super coolest weapons if you use it in this way. Um... Yeah! There you go. Oh, uh, you're- you've been waiting for that shit. Alright, I'm gonna shut up for a second, because... Let's see. I would need to get uh, one get, enemy. Get, get it down to one. Get it down- get it down to one, and do... The equivalent of a fucking SNK super, right here. Come on, buddy. Oh, you want it to be the last hit. No, I don't. But, oh, God, it's yeah. so good. So, and this is called Rising Dragon, I guess. Yeah. But, uh, it, I call it Real Impact in my brain, because that's what it was in Because it's, 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 it's a bad, better name. Oh. Are you ready? Well, to be fair... Yeah. Well. <laughs> Whoop, crazy dance! Down and out. Yeah. <laughs> Both of these, I think, are the best level three style I, moves. For I thought you were gonna do that. I, I wasn't expecting the Rising Dragon. I thought you were oh, gonna yeah. do Dazzler Copper instead. But um, something like an elevator control switch. But there's three. Oh no! So uh, Virgil's version of it is still the Rising Dragon, mind you. Mm -hmm. um, even when Real Impact comes uh, into existence. Oh really? Yep. Oh, yep. 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 Because it's still he's still using Bale. Mm, right. 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 He's right. not using. Um, you're doing it, buddy. Don't you worry about it. Ah, not if we're not being Gilgamesh. Well, Gilgamesh. She's not using Gilgamesh, exactly. Um, also, uh, as cool as Dance Macabre is, again, the Trish version 
It's bare knuckle. Infinitely cooler because she does the golf swing. I don't know if you if you remember that, but she has the full combo setup. And then she has a massive spike launch that shoots and uh, everyone who gets hit by it like Smash Brothers height into the air. I did know that. And then she does this most egregious long fucking wind up. It's crazy. And Tiger Woods that shit into the distance. And then she holds the pose. So the goofiest part about Dance Macabre is you're going to see Dante spinning around like so. He loses that in, every, in uh, four. He loses the spin. It just becomes the final it becomes the a, It becomes a, ball, a baseball swing. Yeah. Whereas but, Trish uses a golf swing. But the uh, the the spin, a.k.a. Crazy Dance, is uh, a, a super great combo extender in this Marvel. Is, this is <laughs> very true. It's fun. Here we go. Also, I like to think of it as the epitome of Dante choosing fun over effectiveness yeah. because you're using a sword to kick <laughs> like you're doing some ninja turtles bullshit <laughs> you know it's uh yeah he's dumbass it's the dumbest and it's the best and it's the epitome of, of virgil going no dante do not use your blade to kick that is stupid this is foolish our father's amulet <laughs> uh, uh, Daddy's That's what I hear from Virgil all oh. the time. Like uh, you, uh, every, so I like. I want to have like every LP on the channel is currently making hot use of mother. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's Borderlands it's too? everywhere now. It's that's currently. Well, it. Why? Why Borderlands? Because uh, there's a mommy in Borderlands. Ah. So yeah, I like the idea that with Dante. It's my, my mother is right, and, but with Virgil's like, Daddy's so strong. I oh, want to be just like Dad. Dad, you protected everyone. Dad, you were so strong. You told me my controls everything. I'm gonna be stronger I than need ever. More power. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking turning protagonists' motivations into fucking baby drivel is just the best. The he the moment he said the fucking mother. <gasps> Oh, dude, you know what I completely fucking forgot about because it's been years and someone recently brought up too. In Ultimate, right, when you, you can pick Virgil versus Trish. Right. Oh. And they have talking intros. Sure they do. Can you imagine what he says to her? Mut mother. He just goes, how disgusting. Oh, great. <laughs> Straight up, he finds it gross. He should. Exactly, because it's a weird hot clone of your mom. That's weird, I don't like that. So he sees it and he's like, fucking ew. I can't believe Dante hangs out with you. What is your actual, I don't know. Demon cooties, get it the fuck away. You're not my mom. You're not my mom. You're not my mom. You're not my real mom. <laughs> My real mom was you! Oh my god, it's... It's... It, oh, Trickster would be very helpful here. But... <laughs> it, it, it just... Oh, it god. never stops, like, making me giggle in terms of just... Like, how absurd it is. And I'm thinking back to, like, some of the things Dante has said... In, in, in like, this game. And, like, the one that sticks out to me is... Father? I don't have a father. I just don't like you. That's all. Yes. The fuck does that mean? It, it, it. The sentence literally makes no sense. I, I think the translation must have been more sensical or, or so, but it really, he just jumps subject matters and contexts for no reason. Like, we're talking about Sparta. We're talking about Sparta. We're talking about you. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't have a daddy. I only have my mommy. I love my daddy. For real. Um, that voice clip from Silent Hill Shattered yeah. Memories is like burned into everyone's Cause, soul. Cause it fucking repeats itself in ad nauseum. To the point of nause. Um, I don't care about you bats. Yeah, so he's super disgusted by her entire existence and wants her fucking dead. Which is awesome. Um, and when she wins, she's like, oh, you're nowhere near as fun as your brother. And it's like... How disappointing. Uh, and it's like, ew! Ew. 
My mom shouldn't be saying that I'm not fun. <laughs> That's fucking gross. And then Dante. Trish, do you not understand how gross your existence and then is? And then Dante's there in the back smirking, going, Mom, he thinks I'm more fun than you, Virgil. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm the favorite. <laughs> God. Oh, it's been like three weeks! No, it's been more! It's been longer! It's been like a month and a half, and this same joke is still cracking me up. Cause it's so... It's the- it's the worst, dumbest family you know, you, ever. You know why it's still cracking me up? Because Dante and Virgil, like, never, ever, ever fucking deal with it. No. Actually. They just- well, Dante just gets older. And eventually, when the time comes, he starts acting like a huge douche to the only to the oh, only. Oh fuck off! Like he sees a living relative, and then he acts like a huge dick to him yeah. for a while, and then only I guess decides to be nice based on deciding that hey, you're kind of strong, I guess. But then he loses his arm, and he's like, "Get out of here!" He's just fucking well, who knows? We don't know where that goes. But you get out of you loser! You stupid idiot! You're not strong like mother. But like, just the way that the, the that four has, you know, the man in red as the crazy murderer of innocent people. Yeah. You're like Dante. You're choosing to do this in the most evil-looking way possible. Why did you decide to do it in this manner? <laughs> he's, you know. Oh fuck! He's such an asshole. Why are you doing this to me? Yeah, so the fact that it's late game and these rooms are just three spiders and that's presented as a challenge. Yeah. Is meant to let you know that, hey, these fuckers are, uh... Like, well, listen. Kind of annoying. They're, they, these are probably the most, like, they're fine, I guess. They're not the angel guys. Well, no, but they're, but they're awesome. the second most mobile ground enemies. I'd they're say. not the combo dummies that you desire. Right. They're one step away from what I'll say is the, the final... Uh, versions of, of the grunts you're gonna you're gonna deal yeah, with. Yeah, the final grunts are actually really awesome, and because, I love them because you feel, they, it feels like you're fighting your level, you know. But right here, you're just getting used to stay still, you piece of shit. I just, just don't stop. Come on, stop moving a little yeah, bit. Phantom was nothing like that. Oh no! Yeah, Phantom was a big lumbering slow piece of shit. Oh, you left one alive. Ah eh, well, how nice.